haunted house. Lynn and Jeffrey stood outside the gloomy old house which the neighborhood kids had always called the haunted house. Let's just take one fast look, said Jeffrey. They stepped onto the porch and tried the doorknob. Suddenly, the door opened. They saw no one, but were determined to explore the house. So hand in hand, they entered. Suddenly, through the gloom of the hallway, they saw a tall, thin man wearing a long black cape, walking, almost floating, toward them. They wanted to turn and run, but were too frightened to move. The eerie figure was motioning for them to follow him. They didn't want to, but as though hypnotized, they followed him into a large dining room, fully set up for a banquet. Otherwise, the room was deserted. Even the mysterious stranger had disappeared. Suddenly, objects began to move on the table and on the sideboard. Glasses rose into the air and were thrown down. A stack of dishes was picked up and dropped to the floor, and silverware was being thrown around, all by unseen hands. The large mirror over the sideboard suddenly shattered. From outside the room, they heard footsteps coming down the stairs. Terrified now, Lynn and Jeffrey ran out into the hall to get away, but there was nothing out there. Only the horrible figure in the black cave, blocking their way to the door. In his eerie voice, he told them that this house was haunted by a spirit who desperately wanted to leave this real world and return to the spirit world. But it couldn't until an old trunk containing its earthly belongings was buried out in back under the old oak tree. He said that they had been selected to bury the trunk, but while digging they would be surrounded by horrible, frightening sounds because other unfriendly spirits didn't want anyone to do this. The children had no choice, for it was clear that they'd never be let out of the house until they did his bidding. They carried the old trunk and two shovels out back into the darkness and started digging. The noises, the visions, the winds were fearsome. Without wasting another second, they threw down their shovels and ran, not daring to look back, while the sounds grew angrier in the distance. 